concerns about radiation contamination are now a part of everyday life in Japan. People are asking many questions, especially about the safety of the food supply. A new self-service radiation monitoring business opened on Tuesday near Tokyo to help them find some answers. It's located in a city that's more than 200 kilometers away from Fukushima Daiichi, a place where government surveys have detected relatively high radiation readings. At HK World's Miho Fukunaga takes us there. More consumers in Japan are concerned about their food and their environment. This do-it-yourself shop is a low-cost way for them to get some peace of mind. That station is located in a shopping district in the city of Kashiwa. Customers can check soil, food, and other products they have bought or grown. That station is equipped with eight measuring instruments. People pay $52 to check for radioactive materials as low as 10 becquerels per kilogram. It costs $13 to test for 20 becquerels per kilogram. The prices are about a fourth of what it costs to carry out tests at specialized institutions. This station is very helpful. If I asked for the same kind of testing in a lab far from my house, I'd have to pay more. This station is closer and costs less. It's also fast. The process takes about 20 minutes. The test is over in about one minute if samples are radiation free. I'm relieved to know my sample didn't contain any radioactive material. I only had to put the sample in the container and push the button. It's easy. Anyone could do it. Motohiro Takamatsu is the manager of this do-it-yourself radiation monitoring station. He decided to open it after he bought an instrument to make sure his family wasn't being exposed to contaminants. The father of two realized many people are looking for this kind of service. Farmers and consumers in this area are concerned about radioactive contamination. I hope this station can help make their worries go away. The Japanese government has placed repeatedly since the March 11th nuclear accident that the food making it to market is safe. Many people remain concerned, especially parents. They don't want to take any chances with their children's health. Radiation monitoring station would be a place where they will find a sense of security. Miho Fukunaga, NHK World, Kashiwa, Japan. The people you saw in Miho's story were measuring for radiation levels between 10 and 20 becquerels per kilogram. We wanted to show you how that compares to the Japanese government's national standards. The radiation limit for drinking water and milk is set at 200 becquerels per kilogram. It's higher for vegetables, rice, meat, and fish. 500 becquerels per kilogram is the safety limit for those products. Officials in Yokohama City are conducting more soil tests for radioactive strontium. This comes after a local resident detected the substance on the roof of an apartment building. Yokohama is located about 250 kilometers from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Radioactive cesium, more than 80 times the government set limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram, was found last month in samples of sediment collected from roadside ditches in Yokohama. The city later removed the contaminated sediment. But the city decided to retest the samples from the roadside for radioactive strontium due to the request of a local resident. The resident said a private testing institution had detected 195 becquerels of strontium per kilogram, more than six times the government safety limit in the rooftop sample. The science ministry says radioactive strontium can accumulate in bones and that it poses a cancer risk. The ministry says it has conducted only a few checks for strontium outside of Fukushima prefecture because the amounts detected within the prefecture were very small.
Officials in Tokyo are thinking ahead to the next possible disaster. One of the city's wards have pa has passed a bylaw required companies to shelter their employees in the event of a major earthquake. It's in response to what happened after the March 11th disaster. Trains stopped running. Thousands of commuters could not get home. The Minato Ward Assembly on Wednesday unanimously adopted the ordinance laying out the responsibility of companies to help minimize confusion. The ward has many small and mid-sized businesses. The ordinance says companies should prevent employees from leaving and take in commuters who have no way of going home. Companies are also urged to stock food and water for their workers. Experts warn that if an earthquake occurs directly beneath Tokyo, people walking home could be injured by fires and collapsed buildings. Preliminary radiation checks have been conducted on sake, a rice wine, and other alcoholic beverages produced near Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to ensure their safety. The National Tax Agency on Wednesday tested samples for radio radioactive materials such as iodine and cesium. The agency oversees the distribution of alcoholic beverages. Extremely low levels of such materials, similar to those detected in natural fields, were detected. The agency says that if high levels of radioactive materials are detected, it will send samples to a government-backed alcohol research institution in Hiroshima, western Japan, for detailed checks. Wednesday's checks took place ahead of extensive tests on alcoholic beverages produced at all breweries and factories located within 150 kilometers of the plant. Brewing facilities outside the radius will also be randomly tested. Rice and barley, the main ingredients of alcoholic beverages, have already been tested for radiation. The agency hopes the additional testing will put consumers at ease.